B. Lynch compression sutures. Hello and welcome. Today, we'll focus on the B. Lynch compression suture technique, which can be a life-saving procedure for controlling severe bleeding when uterine atony persists after a cesarean delivery. In normal circumstances, the uterus contracts robustly after the placenta is delivered, helping close off the blood vessels at the placental site. When uterine atony occurs, these contractions are weak or absent, leading to excessive bleeding. Initial interventions include uterine massage, administration of uterotonics such as oxytocin, and inspection of the uterine cavity to remove any retained placental fragments. However, if significant bleeding continues, additional surgical measures like uterine artery ligation, internal iliac artery ligation, uterine artery embolization, or B. Lynch compression sutures may be required. During the B. Lynch procedure, number two chromic suture is looped around the uterus in such a way that tying these loops compresses the uterine walls to stimulate and enhance proper myometrial contraction. To place the first suture, the needle pierces the lower uterine segment from front to back, entering the uterine cavity approximately three centimeters below the cesarean incision and about four centimeters from the lateral border of the uterus. It then emerges from the cavity above the incision. A clamp is placed on the suture end to prevent accidental pull through. Next, the suture is looped up and over the fundus, passing around to the back of the uterus. Here, the needle re-enters the uterine cavity through the posterior uterine wall at the level of the incision. Inside the uterine cavity, the suture is passed transversely from one side to the other. The needle exits again through the posterior wall, after which the suture is looped up and over the fundus a second time, returning to the anterior surface of the uterus. The needle then enters the uterine cavity above the incision and exits below the incision. While an assistant applies manual compression to the uterus, any slack in the suture is pulled taut, creating the crucial compressive effect on the uterine walls. Finally, the suture is securely tied beneath the incision. One sign of success is the absence of bleeding through the uterine incision, confirming that proper compression has been achieved. Once the uterus is confirmed to be hemostatic, the cesarean incision is closed with a standard running locking stitch using number one chromic suture. That concludes this overview of the B. Lynch compression suture technique. With proper placement and tightening of the suture loops, surgeons can often control persistent uterine bleeding and preserve the uterus when other measures have not succeeded. Thank you for watching, and we hope this step-by-step -step explanation helps clarify the procedure.